Students and staff at Anderson High School are mourning a fellow student tonight. Senior Brock Vogel died this morning. WLWT News Sergeant McGee live for us with the very latest from the district and also advice for parents tonight. Jatera? Cherie, this morning the district immediately activated its crisis team. I'm told that students and staff are both shocked and having a really difficult time with this. Tonight we have advice if your student is struggling with the grieving process. It's not going to just be today. It's going to be tomorrow, next month, next year. Important advice to parents as children grieve a classmate and friend. Trauma counselor spent the day at Anderson High School to support students and staff as they mourn one of their own. The district announced senior Brock Vogel died early this morning. The devastation and grief spans the entire district. Brock attended Air Elementary, Nagel Middle, and Anderson High, and also played sports. And a lot of times, you know, parents will say, are you doing okay? You know, asking questions like that is not the type of question to ask. Rather, it's tell me what's going on. Tell me what's going on in your mind. How are you processing this? Sheila Monifo Canoza founded Companions on a Journey Grief Support. She spends a lot of time in schools counseling grieving kids. When a child learns of the death of a friend, there are so many feelings and emotions that go on with inside of them. And a lot of times they can't wrap their brains around what they're feeling and they feel lost and alone. In a statement, the district superintendent wrote, the health and wellness of all students remains our highest priority at FHSD. The district has full-time school counselors and mental health specialists at each building who will continue to provide support for students and staff. Parents checking in at home and often is important too. Well, the check-ins are so, so important. One of the best places to check in, I feel, is the car. You know, saying, hey, how about if we go out and get an ice cream? The Hamilton County Sheriff's Office confirmed it's handling the death investigation. The cause of death is still under investigation. We're live in Anderson tonight. Jatara McGee, WNWT News 5.